Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Heather. Today we're gonna read a story called Home Sweet Home. It's about this little froggy right here. Um, what I want you to do is pay attention to all the pretty colors in this book and we will see what's going on with this little frog. Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home by Caroline Pitcher. Under the hedge was a big green bucket with holes in the sides and water in the bottom. In the green bucket lived a frog. One sunny day, frog was keeping nice and cool and damp in his shady bucket. Then suddenly the bucket moved. Frog saw a large hand holding the handle and a big voice boomed. This old thing will have to go. Then so will I, croaked Frog, and off he hopped to find a new home. A lot of green on this page. Okay. It was a bad day to look for a new home. The sun was shining and Frog felt hot. He leaped into the rainwater barrel, but it was empty. Ow! He hopped towards a flower pot, but someone already lived there. No frogs allowed here, croaked Mouse. You're too damp, squeaked Mouse. Frog hopped under a pile of leaves, but someone already lived there too. No croakers in my house, grumbled Turtle. You'll keep me awake. Frog saw a cool, damp hole under a tree and looked in. A little face with bright eyes, a pink nose, and long whiskers popped up. No room in here, said Rabbit, wiggling her nose. There are 10 of us already. So all of these gray rabbits lived in the hole. Frog hopped over to a drain pipe. Someone with eight long legs climbed down to look at him. Do you see anything with eight long legs? You can't come in here, said Spider. You'll make a mess of my lovely web. Frog hopped away gloomily. Nobody seemed to want him. He looks sad to me. Perhaps I'll find a home here, he said, as he jumped off a step, hopped through a doorway and into the kitchen. Plop! He dove into the soapy water, but he did not like the bubbles. Splash! He hopped into a water jug, but he did not like the ice cubes. Frog gazed into the washing machine. His eyes popped as he watched the wa water whiz around and around. I don't want to be that clean, said Frog. Frog hopped upstairs and into the bathroom. Ooh, lots of places here, he croaked. He leaped into the sink but there was no water in it. Then Frog heard running water. He looked around and saw water pouring into an enormous bathtub. In he hopped. Ouch! Too hot for me, he croaked. Frog hopped downstairs and out of the house. The sun was even hotter. Poor Frog's skin felt dry. He scrambled down the hot path towards the shed. He'd never been so far before. Oh, for a cool new home, he cried. He hopped into the shed for some shade. And there, in a corner, was a beautiful bucket with some water in the bottom. 
It's just like my old one. Home sweet home, croaked Frog as he jumped in with relief. The water felt lovely and cool on his skin. Oh, now it's blue. Frog was so tired from all his hopping and searching that he fell fast asleep. But he soon woke up when the bucket began to shake. Oh no, not again. I don't want to go anywhere, he croaked. I've only just moved in. Frog slurped from side to side as the bucket swung through the air. Then it stopped. He scrambled up to the edge and peeped over. What very big boots, he croaked. See the boots? Frog and the water hurtled out of the bucket. It must be a dream, I'm a flying frog, he croaked as he flew through the air. Down, 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 glurp, splash, rivet, into some lovely, cool water. Frog swam to a large lily pad, pulled himself up and sat there, gazing around in wonder. I can't believe my luck, he said. This is the most beautiful home I have ever seen. We see the orange fish, and now the frog looks happy. So this is where he will live now, in the pond with the lily pads, the other frogs, and the fish. The end. Home sweet home. I hope you like the story. Bye.